Hello and welcome back everyone to the next episode on SAP Build Apps Low Code No Code Development Training with me Anubhav. In our last session we talked about creating our wrap objects. We have created our restful application programming database table for storing supplier data. Created the wrap objects including behavior object, business object, behavior definition and behavior implementation along with the projection layers. Also, finally, we registered our service definition and service binding and created the destination to consume stuff into the BTP. So in today's session, we are going to continue. Look at quickly our recap of the use case, then create our build application to consume the wrap data and display the data. Perform the create object in the system. After that, we will also learn how to fire the other additional operations like create. And then finally, we will check and test if the data is getting inserted in our SAP system through the wrap object. So that way, it will be a quick wrap integration, including integration with the SAP business objects built on, built on S4 HANA with wrap, with build apps. It's a good example as well for a clean core kind of an application where we are building the backend in the S4 and building the front end or the UI component in the in the SAP build apps. So interestingly, let's get started then. I will head over back to the system. So our use case was to actually design and develop an application to quickly maintain supplier information in S4 HANA. This application should be ready to run on mobile phone and we should be able to develop it without with the help of low code no code uh, development tool so that was our use case so let's get started so then we bind with the data set as always with our data variable supplier entity and then show the title for supplier name and country so we can better use a formula there so we can concatenate the data. So I can now map it with supplier name, concatenate with the city of the supplier, and then we will have the city of the supplier, city and country. Country is okay, yeah, save it. And then we will also show the description formula and we can show here some additional information like the address, comma, region, concatenate space and I will choose the supplier kind save this done that is our data set let's save and now it's the time to test our application so i'm going to head over back to preview our application now in the system and then we should be getting the supply data coming from our company s4 hana system let's open the manage supplier app and vahala you can see the three entries from my S4 HANA system, from my wrap BO instances, and these three instances is right there at front of us. Beautiful. So is the next step to go back and create a new supplier using the uh, RESTful application programming model. So to do the honor, we are going to create a new screen. All right, let's try again. NVIDIA, Delaware, US, North America, large corporation. Press F12 and click on save. The post call is gone and the response comes here as OK. Looks like that, you can see. So you can see it's got created fabulous. So one good way to understand is the screen gets blank after create. That's a default behavior of the form. So now we can go to home page. And Vahala, you can see the record is created. If I go back to my uh, 
wrap application in S4 HANA and refresh here, you can see I've got here the record created in the database. Congratulations. So that's how we can integrate the RESTful application programming or wrap with SAP build low code, no code development. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you in the next episode. Till then, happy building and